A woman performs creep by Radiohead with her parrot. When you were here before, can look you in the eyes. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You float like a feather in a beautiful world. I wish I was special. Then it has to cause some disturbance here. I mean, everybody's acting like this is. <laughs> Whirly just rolled the baseball. Whirly just rolled the baseball. This wolf gets stuck in a trap and at first is aggressive with these men, but eases up once it knows that these men are not there to hurt him. Okay, just relax. I'll let him chew on it for a second. He's got a huge wood tick in his ear. Holy balls. He folks got a bunch of them in his ears. Wood ticks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got him? Yeah. All right, you're about to have him. Okay. He's all yours, Bob. Let me go. get out of the way here. Yeah. Now this wolf is a different story, and I guess it didn't get the memo that the men were there to help. Yeah, I sure wouldn't be that close to him. Holy sh it only take a second. Why do you gotta do that? Let go. I'm gonna let you out in a second. Hold on. Can you take two of them? Yeah. Can you pin them to the ground? I can't pin them with this. I'll buy you another catch pole. I can't lay it that tight on him. He'll never shake that off. Yeah, it's loose enough. He'll shake it off. He won't go very far with it. Okay? Alright. Alright, we're going to let it go. It's kind of, it's loose enough where he should be able to shake it off. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna see. But. Let's just walk away. You'll get up. A magpie is a huge pain in the butt to a fox. Yeah, the possum. That's Cats gets on the field, just running around all over the place. And finally, another attendant picks it up, and the attendant that got scratched is... Oh, he's in pain. Look at him. Oh, that cat is... Oh. Rangers growing up in Dallas, uh -oh. that was his team. We got a oh, snake. we got a snake on the field. Are you kidding? Check swing and a strike on Beck. There is a, where is that thing at? They just showed it on the monitor. There is a snake slithering. Is it in the outfield? Yeah, it's, it's out in center field. field. It is, oh my goodness. Did I say I've seen everything well, now? This, this, this has been a truly wacky homestand. Well, now the snake is trying to get away. There he goes. They've got a uh, 
some sort of a garden tool, not a hoe. I don't know what they call that, but they are trying to corral this thing. That's scary. Yeah, especially when you're not sure what kind of a snake it is. Watch out, guys. Only get bit. Trying to get up. They got a bucket on it now. I think what they're going to try to do is kind of lift it and get the snake in it. Well, now they tip it upside down. They got a lid on it. And a nice, nice round of applause. My gun. Cyclists dealing with a very excited pooch. He's dog. Uh, Bidcock. Herman's through. Uh, Ellie Isabet, he wants a piece of that. He wants a piece of the champ. He wants a piece of the champ. He's not going to get it. Uh, does not want to let uh, Ertz around. Actually wants a piece of Michael Van Torn out. Stops him right in his tracks. Michael a security guard smacks Africa's most dangerous animal to get it back in its area. <laughs> Oh my god. Some very sweet pooches during a soccer game. Bu görüntü gerçekten çok enteresan. Çok renkli bir görüntü. Şu anda ikisi de çimlerin üzerinde davetsiz misafirlere alışık olduğumuz dönemde girişleri şu anda bu şekilde oyuna dahil oldular burada. Cuando viene tocando la pelota, ahí está justamente. Miren, se agarró una zapatilla y lo van a sacar. ¿Y de quién será la zapatilla? Esa es la pregunta. Descargó para Ramiro Vaca, para Godoy. Y se lleva la zapatilla, miren. Qué momento. ¿En qué termina esta historia? A pelican steals fish right off a dude's line. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Oh, sh <laughs> Say! Hey, back up, kid. Back, back up, kid. Did oh, you oh, just hit oh. my baby, Nathaniel? Did you just hit my baby? teach your kids not to be rolling up. Did he just give you a skibbity pap? Yeah, he papped me up, mom. Oh, that's it, Clarence. No, I told you, you I put your hands on my kids, boy. Give it your kids. Where the heck did they come from? They're delayed for a lot of reasons. I don't think I've ever seen a game delayed by bees. That's B-E-E-S. Not in the bat either, but on the camera. They have swarmed right on the screen behind home plus seven. By the way, that squirrel is, he's across the 20. Get move. Let me see if he can move. He's tired. Oh man, did you see that get off? No, but he sat down. It was like zone wow. cover. Right there. And they're running too. They're running. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The bears are running. Oh, one of them's standing up. One of the bears? Oh, yeah. they're running. They just stood up. They're they are charging. running and in the dra Oh, they're running. I lost him now. In the yeah, I don't trees. see the bears. But they were you need to continue to come this way. You need to move this way right now. Oh my gosh. The people are out of their cars. Oh, look still. at that. They are in the road. The bears are in the road. All three of them. Wow. 
And they're crossing. And it's probably those cable that cost the nurse to get out. Look, every time I get an opportunity to show the largest animal to ever live on Earth, the blue whale, I'm going to do it. Loki. <laughs> what? Three days. Oh my God. 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 Wow. Oh my God. I got that on video. All of it on video. All of it. Oh my God. Imagine waking up to this beast standing at your window. It's like something out of a horror movie. So this ginormous kangaroo is standing at the window and you want to talk about intimidating? Oh, he's chasing a skunk. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the bear's running after a skunk and it's standing like three feet in front of him. Oh, the skunk just charged at the bear. Did you ever think you would see a bear and skunk encounter? So this young bear learns a very important lesson. Mess with the skunk and get the spray. With his tail raised. Oh my word, this is really funny. I got it on camera, I'm recording it. Then, oh, the bear just got sprayed and ran away. Oh, it's so funny. Sprayed and ran away. Oh, it's so funny. Oh man, this is awesome. This skunk's running towards our house. <laughs> So the king cobra is one of the baddest mofos on this planet. These amazing serpents are the largest venomous snakes in the world and pack a powerful bite. The venom from just one bite is enough to take out 20 people. This very brave fool encounters one and actually goes barehanded and snags the venomous beast. Hail to the hail to the hail to the gnaw. Cầm chặt cái tay đầu vào. Cầm chặt cái tay đầu nó nó cắn chết không cứu được đâu. Bây giờ sao nó ỉa ra cứt à? Sao lại phọt cứt thế kia? <cười> <laughs> Who knows what this kid did to set these turkeys off, but he did and they are on his butt. Thankfully turkeys are one of the least intelligent of all animals and these damn things probably forgot why they were even chasing him in the first place and eventually they ran away. Let's check it out again. <laughs> Ever heard of a mountain lion scream? <laughs> yeah, me neither until now. This sounds like something out of a horror movie. Homeboy just got off the damn bike and was off to the races. Like, I can't blame him because even though elephants are known to bluff charge, 
it's not always a bluff 100% of the time. And you know what happens to you if it's not bluffing that day. I'm just tripping on this guy falling down on the ground. Just like how people trip and fall in chase scenes in horror movies. So a mischievous and probably very hungry black bear breaks into a home and I'm pretty sure it's trying to figure out where the owners are hiding all the food. Then it does something I did not expect. Evidently, this was taken with a home camera, presumably while the owners were gone. And I'm just happy they weren't there because a hungry bear is an aggressive bear. Just kind of give him some space with all of us here. You can't do much. Yeah. You know, you've got to run them off. Unfortunately, you can't cut them off now. Oh, he's coming fast. All right, don't, no, don't worry. No. All right, bear. Some old footage of a giant grizzly who sees this group of guys and is not pleased with their presence. Look, I don't know about you, but I would not be trying to antagonize an animal who can run 100 yards in five seconds and has the strength to tear you apart in seconds. Maybe that's just me. Imagine this scene and sound where you have a huge pit of rattlesnakes and they are not happy to see this GoPro attached to this drone. Not in the least. After a few of the snakes took a few chomps at the drone, the drone actually falls into the pit of snakes. Like, oh no! Like, if this was your drone, would you go get it back? Let me know in the comments. No, I didn't speak to it. It's a black bear. They're bad bears. They're, they can be mean. It, it's, it just knocked my jacuzzi top over. Oh. No, I saw it drag it when I got up. Check this out from the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee, where one of these doggone mischievous black bears makes itself at home in the hot tub. Folks, you just can't make this stuff up. I can't believe it got it sneaky behind in that water. Like, are you kidding me? This is a crocodile farm in Thailand where this man toys with a huge croc. Now folks, this croc is very real and indeed alive. But it's apparent to me that the poor animal has been tranquilized or something because this guy would not have been able to do all this to this apex predator. And I bet y'all thought that thumbnail was fake, didn't ya? If there is one animal you don't mess with, it should be the one that kills the most people in Africa outside of the mosquito. Hippos ain't no joke and are very territorial. This boat of people are in Kenya and I think they thought everything would be okay except one particular hippo had other ideas.
anyone that's ever dealt with yellow jackets know that they are annoying and they do not play as evident by this guy in an unrelated yellow jacket video I mean come on I had my hand in that gutter and it was just like sing you know that just pain that just shoots through you look at these fingers it's insane uh, I don't know if it's moved up my arm anymore at this point but you know I think it's probably moved up a little bit um, I was reading on the internet it says swelling can increase for 48 hours so I'm not even halfway through with this right, have a look at this isn't it beautiful it's like a little ornament off the veranda um, they're saying it's a hornet's nest now I've seen inside and it is a bit bee-ish but it's not an hornet so another guy decides to toy with and actually squeeze a yellow jacket nest very bad idea oh don't touch it you'll die you'll die you'll die it's not gonna kill us is it it's just one little thing in a, in a little nest and it's it's comfortable in there So these guys are out fishing in the ocean with some little ass wooden boats for some reason. They caught something much bigger than a goldfish. Oh my gosh! Dude, that's like a nine or ten footer. That is not like seven. That, that's huge. Are you kidding me? A ten foot shark? And all y'all got are these little flimsy boats? Hell to the gnaw. <laughs> Imagine seeing this scene where no less than 10 humongous tigers are charging at you. So this drone captures footage of the magnificent animals prompted into their prey drive. At one point it appears the drone is just like going away. But then at a certain point the curious predators actually get a hold of it. Which is kind of crazy. Cause I thought the video was over, but damn, that is a lot of tigers. Look how close this guy gets to a mountain lion. So this guy is hiking in the woods and comes across a puma who seems more curious than anything else. Still is way too close for comfort. Eventually the puma figures out that this guy isn't food and it's not a threat either. This ends up being much more peaceful than it could have been. In front of me. Stay back. You guys up the trail, stay put. Hey, bear. Whoa, bear. Hey, bear. Whoa, bear. Check out this encounter between a ranger and a family of bears at Glacier Park. They start yelling at the bears to let them know that they are not intimidated. Although, I would be peeing my pants. So I wonder if the bears initially were going to, like, attack, but the loud noises deterred them. They eventually run off, but that is way too close of a call for me. Go! Go! Whoa, bear! Whoa, bear! Go! This poor stray horse is getting harassed by four dogs and somehow remains calm. Like I thought the horse would kick the crap out of the dogs, 
but this is a pretty shy horse. Eventually some people rescue the horse and find it at home. Like, how crazy, huh? For their size, badgers are very tough animals and don't mind taking on animals much, much bigger. Is a very close relative of the skunk, it's also at times very fearless. So what do you get when they both encounter each other? You know, the badger eventually figured out that the prospect of getting both bitten and sprayed is just not a good look. Whoa! He went through. Holy fuck, ball! Stand back! Stand back! Stand back! Here's a clip where there is someone in a cage, and this caught the attention of a great white shark. The shark actually ended up getting its head stuck in the cage of all things. Can you imagine what would have happened to the guy in the cage had this shark managed to wriggle its way into the cage? Whoa. The shark snatched. Suddenly, it popped up its head, appearing to beg for food like a dog. This video shows that contrary to what many people believe, great white sharks aren't as evil as you think. I'd just put my fish in the water and I'd call out, come on sharky, come on, come on, and come up, put his head out of the water, take the fish, pat his nose and go away. If circumstances had been different, I could have got in the water and swum with the shark and done that. I had a feeling it wouldn't bite me. Now, most great whites, I don't have a feeling like that at all. This one, I had a, a feeling. So this happens in Thailand where evidently this elephant is tired of cars passing by and not showing him no respect. So the elephant decides to take a seat, like on the car. Thankfully the car was able to get away, but look at the damage this thing did to it. Like, holy moly. <laughs> Folks, this is the bluff charge of all bluff charges. Like, look at this. Wow, I mean, this elephant was really coming at this guy, and he barely flinched, bro. Like, I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Dude's got balls the size of boulders. This thing is vicious, man. He wants to bite me. He's trying to attack me, man, twice. A rat either begging to get out or chomping at the bit to get out and get a piece of this human that trapped it. What kind of rat is that? It's got a long snout. This tiger was so well hidden, it would have been so easy to miss it.
my car. You know, the problem is, what do you do? Do you hop out the car and politely tell the bears to stop destroying your car? So a family of brown bears at Yellowstone decided that this car would make a great play toy and started to attack the car. The kids in the car were not trying to hear it. And I don't blame them. But it won't, it won't Just start moving forward. Go, moving he's, forward. go forward. They said not to stop. Start driving forward, it's Jacob. It's wrong! It's wrong! It's okay. This is at Kanha National Park in India, where a tiger voices its displeasure with some humans in its way. A black bear makes it known to a tiger that it is ready to defend itself if it needs to. My question is what kind of park is this where an elephant is just walking around in the same vicinity where people are like riding their bikes? The encounter in itself is pretty tame, but it's just the optics of this, right? I mean, this elephant definitely looks like it doesn't belong here. Uh, it's a small elephant, like probably a baby or something, but still. <laughs> Like I always tell y'all, when I find something I've never seen before, even if it seems like a small thing, I'm going to show it to you. Um, I've never seen anything like this, like a crocodile, especially a big one like this, climbing up anything. I mean, let alone like a bank uh, that th that's this steep trying to get back into the lake. I mean, look at this thing. It's all clumsy and kind of slow, but you know, it got the job done. I mean, this thing is a monster and it took him a minute, but he got there. Oddly entertaining to watch something like this. I just, I don't know. This seems like a normal grizzly bear video for a sec until I saw that there is a wolf very close by. I couldn't figure out if the wolf is following the bear or vice versa maybe. Perhaps trying to get some cheap leftovers from any potential meal the other one gets. Nevertheless, this is pretty awesome to see. This is a video of a man named Justin who went out fishing and then started calling to a pack of wolves who actually showed up and got pretty dang close to him at one point in the video. Justin mentioned he had no weapons and not even bear spray bro. Like dude, I don't think I would be trying to get close to wolves with no weapons. Are you crazy bro? Dude could have literally been filming his own ending which is insane. Ever seen a turkey attack a police car? Well you have now. He's going after Dave, it. Dave, are you seeing this? Oh Dave. my god. He's the turkey is attacking the cop car. Cop car. I have to get a better view of this. This is just beautiful. <laughs> This horse came around the corner so fast, and I guess it forgot to turn on its traction control. I mean, holy moly, I'm just glad this horse wasn't too badly hurt. And I'm really glad that this guy didn't fall like right beneath the horse and get crushed because uh, he easily could have been. Nervously, the booby hen rises, exposing the chick. 
Instantly, the crabs dart in to seize the newly hatched victim. But this time, the action does not follow. This is a video of some booby birds who are attacking a crab who is trying to get one of the bird's babies. Man, these birds are really trying to get at this crab. What makes this insane is that the badly hurt crab actually amputates its own limb, which is just crazy. By the way, the limb grows back, which is even more alien-like. I mean, just insane. This crab, also badly hurt, simply performs a quick battlefield surgery, amputates its own claw. It will be regenerated in the next several molting cycles. This man films an encounter where a bobcat has its sights on a turkey vulture and is ready to pounce on it. It's so interesting because you know that the vulture saw the hungry cat the whole time, but it actually let the bobcat get pretty close before it decides to flee. I think we all know by now that bears are pretty dang smart, but I was not prepared to see a bear open the door to not just one truck, but in fact two of them. It's insane how it's figured out how to do this. Animals of course will do anything for some dang food, and they will evolve as needed to do so. Very impressive, three parrots living it up. A fox ignores an irritated swan. I hope they disinfect the sink after. Donkeys make about as good of a guard animal as any dog you can find. Good girls!
Imagine being happy to see an elephant, but it not wanting to see you. These two here still want a piece of each other. <laughs> This hyena really loves the attention. Oh, ho, dragon. Oh, ho, dragon. Oh, ho. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what is that? Huh? What is that? <laughs> An elegant dancing horse in Tequila, Mexico. A friendly wild emperor penguin. I would be so scared that I would get eaten. That's you, he's tracking you. See? Oh, yeah. Maybe, well, Sheepy, why aren't you trading to Ishtar? No, because you could use it. He's a little scruffy looking. 